Thomas Paine was one of our founding fathers who wrote Common Sense and American Crisis, inspiring Americans to rebel against their English monarch. His influence on America is one of massive proportions. Paine was born in 1737 in England. From a very young age, he was extremely smart and independent. He often attended philosophical lectures. At the age of 40, he immigrated to America, where he would change the course of its history. Let's break it down. Thomas Hobbes made apparent his beliefs that general rights follow from a right to liberty and that a monarchy was the best type of government. He also knew that government was necessary for a society to prosper. Although both men showed in their books that they believed that government was needed, Hobbes and Paine disagreed on practically everything else. According to Leviathan, Hobbes wanted a monarchy, and according to common sense, Paine wanted a representative government. That the king is not to be trusted without being looked after, or in other words, that a thirst for absolute power is the natural disease of monarchy. For such is the nature of man, that howsoever they may acknowledge many others to be more witty, or more eloquent, or more learned, yet they will hardly believe there be any so wise as themselves, for they see their own wit at hand, and other men's at a distance. In Jean-Jacques Rousseau's book, The Social Contract, he spoke of what he believed a government should be. He said, 
What then is government, an intermediary body established between the subjects and the sovereign for their mutual communication? A body charged with the execution of laws and the maintenance of freedom, both civil and political. In other words, Rousseau thought that the best government is the one which protects its people's freedom and executes laws. In Thomas Paine's Common Sense, he says to Americans in reference to the British government, but if you say you can still pass the violations over, then I ask, have your house been burned? Have your property been destroyed before your face? Are your wife and children destitute of a bed to lie on or bread to live on? Have you lost a parent or a child by their hands and yourself the ruin of a wretched survivor? If you have not, then are you not a judge of those who have? Payne spoke of a corrupt government that had taken basic human rights to life and property from its citizens. Thomas Paine, like Rousseau, desired a government that would protect his freedoms. Baron Montesquieu believed all things were made up of rules or laws that never changed. Montesquieu believed greatly in the separation of powers so no one could overpower others. He believed separation was necessary to stop corruption. The book, The Spirit of the Laws, tells of these beliefs. The political liberty of the subject, separation of powers, is a tranquility of mind arising from the opinion each person has of their safety. In order to have this liberty, it is requisite the government be so constituted as one person need not to be afraid of another. Montesquieu's beliefs actually inspired Thomas Paine's beliefs. They both knew that in monarchy, things would be unfair and only help whoever their monarch was, and not the people. Both thought the people should be the main priority and that they should have representation. It is clear that in a monarchy, where he who commands the execution of the laws generally thinks himself above them, there is less need of virtue than in a popular government, where the person entrusted with the execution of laws is sensible of his being subject to their direction. John Locke also believed in a representative government. He believed that natural laws and natural rights need to be secured. This is all said in his book, Second Treaties of Government. To understand political power right and derive it from its original, we must consider what state all men are naturally in, and that is a state of perfect freedom to order their actions and dispose of their possessions and persons as they think fit, within the bounds of the law of nature, without asking leave or depending upon the will of any other man. Locke and Payne both agreed on a representative government. They said that the representatives had to be selected by the people, thus displaying their shared belief that there needs to be consent of the governed. Men being, as has been said, by nature all free, equal, and independent, no one can be put out of this estate and subjected to the political power of another without his own consent. Please welcome our next guest, rapper Kay Swizzle. What's up, my peeps? Kay Swizzle. Oh, house. Can I, can I have your autograph? You're my favorite. I just please, please give me a little Please, okay. Just, just, just autograph me someone. Oh, oh my god. All right, all right, okay. all right. Okay. All right. Keep it moving. Uh, so, okay, Swizzle, I have to ask, why would you write a song about? Thomas Paine, of all things to rap about. You well, know. you know, my very own mother asked me the same question. He seemed, he just inspires me so much because, you know, monarchies are trash. And I believe that Thomas Paine made a difference. He ha we have the same views, you know. He's my homeboy. And I wish he was still alive today so he could stand up there and rap his song with me. That's, that's, re that's really beautiful. No. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay, Swizzle. Ow.